Now this is a game that I've always wanted to platinum and for some reason I've always put it off despite loving it when I played it back in 2019 and 2020. I've always got to the same point and just stopped. So I finally decided to finish the game and get the platinum in this video after about four years of putting it off. And like I said, I don't know why I put it off. I've always enjoyed this game and I enjoyed this entire experience while getting this platinum. And that is, in my opinion, one of Rockstar's most underrated but incredible titles, L.A. Noir. Now, L.A. Noir has 41 trophies, including the platinum. And I have nine of those 41 trophies from when I played back in 2019 and 2020. However, because of the five DLC packs, four of those DLC packs are DLC cases. The game now has 63 trophies, including the platinum, and I'll be doing them all in this video. Now, the trophy guide gives it a 4 out of 10 and says it will take about 35 hours to platinum, but each of the DLC cases takes one hour, according to the trophy guide, and the final DLC pack, which is a collectible DLC pack, takes about two hours. So you're actually looking at about a 41 hour platinum. That's according to the trophy guide. I'd put it more amount around the 45 hour region, but either way, it's a great experience. Now, I want to break this one down into four steps. Step one is to complete the game and five star every single case. Step two is to complete all these street crime cases, which are pretty much just randomly spawning side missions. Step three is to get all of the collectibles and there is a lot of them. And step four is to do any cleanup that may be left. Now I always really enjoyed this game. I don't know why I put it off this long, but I'm really glad that I decided to do it and that I was able to make a video about it. So let's jump into it. The first thing I decided to do was to quickly smash through all the patrol desk cases. Obviously, that's the first set of cases you get. I already had done this and I already had the trophies for it, so it didn't really seem worth making it part of this video. But I quickly just jumped ahead to where I remember leaving off all those years ago. I couldn't really remember too well, but I remember kind of the start of one of the cases I was able to start off. Kind of where I left off a few years back. So here we are, boys. LA Noir. I'm your GTA suspect, God. Gene Archer. Maybe. Spotted by a patrolman. You won't hang around. Dude made me jump. Uh, so here we are with uh, L.A. Noir. That guy threw me off. That, that obviously yelling at me absolutely threw me off there. This is kind of where I you drive left off. You go over the case notes. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is where I where I left off. Like God, like two years ago, I think now, maybe longer. Uh, this is actually a DLC case. So obviously on the PS4 version or PS5, uh, the DLC cases are mandatory. They're part of the story. And they all have DLC trophies for them. So obviously we're going to be doing all of them as we go. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. I love I love this. Like the faces that they make. <laughs> Look at her. Why is she like giving me the, the, the rock? You know, can you smell what the rock is cooking eyebrow there? Makes me like the game I think is brilliant, but these like the faces they pull always crack me up. They're like some of them are so funny. Some of them look like they're like kind of like being cheeky, like hiding a little secret from me. But I've, the raised eyebrow is a new one. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? <laughs> you idiot. I love that. How they. <laughs> Even, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but even I could figure that out in real life. But really, I didn't didn't even say his first name. At least try and be a good liar. At least try. First trophy on the board, guys. Femi imbecile. Correctly branch every question in the interview with Gene Archer. There we go. We're on the board. So obviously there's like quite a lot of cases. I don't know how many of you guys will see. I really don't know how this video is going to be laid You're out. To be honest. Wheel. I'm just going to be playing them, and obviously a lot of the time it is just standing there answering questions, reading facial cues. LAPD, all of you are coming down town with me. Look sharp, it's the cops. Okay, there is a trophy here. Die. Throw out the guns. Covering fire. Okay, no. So the trophy on this one is missable. I think I've already missed one from earlier in the case, but it's no big deal. I can always go back and do it. But there's one that I want to do now, which is to shoot that engine thing that you saw. It falls, it kills someone, but it's uh, it's kind of luck if someone will be near it. There we go, chop shop. During the industrial street raid, kill a goon by shooting the hanging engine block. Now we can go into John Wick mode. And start blasting fools. Accuracy, baby. Another trophy. Race them for pinks. Find and inspect all marquee printed pink slips. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that that's the face of an honest man right there. 
that cheeky grin. There and there we go, the printer's devil. And that is for the... I think, that's, the, the, I think I've already done two of the DLC cases, but this is the first one that has a trophy related to it. So there we go. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a few that are base. There's also a five-star one, which is good. There's a few that are base game. There are a few that are DLC. As I said, I'm going to be going for them all because the DLC are now actually part of getting all five stars, which I think is pretty cool, actually, like, forcing you to do it. Um, but, yeah, this case is super fun. I have noticed the DLC cases definitely feel longer. They're, like, an hour to an hour and a half each, whereas some of the base cases you can do in 30 minutes. Baby. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, hop good. Oh my this god. <laughs> this, this is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> oh, nice one. I don't ah. like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh, shit, get us out of here. Move. Can't let him ruin the car. Oh. I need to be closer, Cole. They really don't want anybody getting the bishop before they do. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. 180, baby. Oof. Keep it steady. I'll try and put. Oh, you're absolutely kidding me. I wonder how much I just lost. Oh, you're kidding me. I've got to do that whole thing again. I don't think they like your little pep talk. All right, here we go. Just oh, try shit. again. Get us out of here. Okay. We took him out. It was obviously just a one-time crash. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. I'm always worried. I'm always worried about crashes with stuff like that. I'm always worried of crashes like that because you never know if it's like, is it this one level that's gonna cause it over and over? But it's obviously just. It was obviously just unlucky. Ah, paved with good intentions. Complete all cases on the traffic desk. And all of them were five stars, and we've been promoted to the homicide desk. Good stuff. Lovely, 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 lovely. E4, get after him! All right, boys, we are back. Got a good few trophies last night. Finished the homicide no, desk as like well, and oh, we're now on Vice, which is all drug-related cases. This next one we're doing is called Reefer Madness, and this is a DLC case, but it has a lot, um, well not a lot, it has five trophies like the last DLC case that we've done. I did miss one unfortunately on the first DLC case earlier in the video, that's okay, we can go back and do it. Um, but so far, I am absolutely loving the game as I expected that I would, I think it's fantastic, the cases are relatively unique. Um, the vo the homicide one, I was like, these are getting repetitive, but it was because it was one guy murdering people and then perfectly framing other people. At first, I was like, why are all these cases the same except different killers? But it wasn't. It was the same killer, so it was really actually quite cool. Goodness me, how much ammo do you have? 11K calling KGPL. Officers need help at 1452 North Las Palmas. Shots fired and officers need help at 1452 North Las Okay, this is the way we can go. And we can book it over the fence. Reinforcements are on the way. See? Ah. 
God damn you! There we go, forcible rear entry, and that was for entering the stash house via the back and killing Juan Garcia Cruz. And this should be the trophy here, boys. We should be able to open this. And this should be the trophy. There we go, soup in the pot. Open both soup cans in Juan Garcia Cruz's stash room. Hey, nobody move. I'll take my chances. Oh, for goodness. Why would you do that? Oh, you're not quick. You're not quick like them other boys. You're not quick like some of the other people I've chased. And oh my god, this is embarrassing. Oh, god. Oh, he said he'll take his chance. It took me less than 30 seconds to get him. Mass. No, put that one back. Aha, uh -huh. there we go, spare a dime. Mass and K metals. I didn't even know the last bit was metals. Sanders is no longer your problem. Come on. Corruption! Every herb bearing seed, complete reefer madness. The city is so corrupt. My goodness. And another five star case done and dusted. Now on to the Naked City. This is another DLC case. And of course, another five odd trophies, I think it is. Ooh. There we go. A good looking corpse. First one for this case. Finally inspect all narcotics in Julie Randall's apartment. Alright, I've got to be very careful here. like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Because if he Actually, spots me, then the trophy's gone. I've got to, like, do... I've got to restart the whole, like, mission tailing section again, which means I've got to quit off the game and do it all over again. So I'm going to hang back really far, not cut anybody up, follow the rules of the road. Now, how long this is, but I hate tailor missions for starters. I hate them. <laughs> I'm not a fan at all. I liked them when I was younger, like on Assassin's Creed, to like being all stealthy. You know, 100 Assassin's Creed, 10 Far Cries, 2 Dying Lights, several Rockstar games, all with tailing missions. They get a bit tedious after a while. So, I'm going to hang really, really far back uh, so I don't have to repeat this level. Right. Run, Phelps. Run. Run. Book it. Run, come on. I am too... I am too shocked to laugh. Phelps, get up! Oh, <laughs> I actually cannot believe what just happened there. What happened? <laughs> I just got absolutely wiped out. Move in. At risk losing the trail. Okay. Oh my god. I lost all train of thought there. Like, I wanted to laugh, I wanted to cry, I was panicked. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Fake Lou. Tail Henry Arnett from Hollywood Station to the pawnbroker and travel agent without being spotted. Oh, oh. On, chauffeur service. Escort, escort Heather Swanson to Arnett's apartment without damage of it. I didn't even know it was a trophy. Well, I completely forgot to even look at the trophies. That was lucky. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's book it. Huh. All right. There's another trophy in this final bit. There should be a sign. That I need to shoot down or let us shoot down something like that. So I've got to look out for a sign to which I can shoot. There we go. Give my regards. Oh my god. How many shots can he... How many shots can one man take? But there we go. We got the trophy for shooting it down. Really this. Lieutenant. 
8 million stories. Complete the Naked City. And there you go. Uh, there's one more DLC case to do. I think I've got a few more, or maybe one more left in Vice. And then we'll be on to our final desk, which I believe is Arson. And I know that we've, there's quite a few there as well as the final DLC one. So far, though, I'm having tons of fun. Uh, I think the game is brilliant. And yeah, I have I really had many complaints about it. I'm absolutely loving it. I've got a feeling Phelps is going to die, man. Or something. Or, or he should die. I can't even remember his name because he makes me mad. I don't even want to think about sat remembering his name. What the hell were you thinking? Oh, Phelps. What did you do? I mean, obviously, you slept with that woman. That singer. What an idiot. But they took their photos and stuff? What? His wife is now leaving. No rest for the wicked. Complete all cases on the vice desk. Well, what a desire. Oh no. Oh no, please still give me five stars though. Oh good. Oh good. Oh. Your actions have earned you a demotion. Prepare for reassignment. Oh my god. And we didn't even get like an ending to that case. Like who... Who stole the... I mean we suppose we kind of did but... Damn. Damn Phelps. What is wrong with you bro? Is he now going to be with this woman? So you're just gonna leave him, live a single life. We're now on, now on arson, which is a real step down from vice and homicide. Just people setting fires. Damn. Our old partner at vice. I knew he was gonna do something to us, rat us in or something, rat us out, whatever it's called. Oh. I am upset about this. No one's gonna have any respect for us. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the final DLC case. I believe there is like one more after this, but this is the final DLC one, so we should get a good amount of trophies from this one. Been a big old explosion. The story's got really, really interesting during this arson this arson case. We need to get very large egg cup, a Viking helmet. How would I know? Ah, the nose nose. Find and inspect the prop spinner, the Nicholson Blast Sight. Oh my goodness, there's a body in the fridge. Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Oh, skeletons in the icebox. Find and inspect all clues inside Akamato's ransacked apartment. Oh my goodness. The gas, cold the gas. We gotta get out of here right now. Ah. Look by the stove. Shoot the gas line, Paul. We're out of here. Go, go, go. Where's the door? I don't know where the door is. Go, go, go. Get out. Ah, oh, you thought there I would die, shield. eh? Come on. He's not getting away from us. All right. So this chase, I've got, I cannot fail. Now that sounds stupid, but I'm not allowed to fail it. Because if not, I have to quit off the game and do it again. Because I have to be successful in my first attempt. So I'm just optimistic that I can find the correct route. And I, I am at the moment. You thought you could get me, buddy. Hey, there we go. Out of the frying pan, which is to pursue uh, Vernon Mate from the bun house to the aircraft. In one go. Stop right. Oh, dead man are heavier. Shoot and kill a total of a hundred bad guys. How long do you think you can hold out? Wow. Sweet. The big unfriendly complete Nicholson electroplating. And unfortunately, I did 
Ah, uh, I did miss a try. Ah, oh, and I got that trophy though. Complete all story case with a five star rating. Sweet. Uh, but unfortunately, I did miss a trophy in that, guys. You have to like shoot people when they're in a car on that one, which is a shame. But we'll just run it back with some of these. Uh, quickly smash through it and um, and yeah. Uh, but that will be later in the cleanup. Bit of a shame. But we've got most of the trophies for each of the DLC ones, so I'm okay with just a bit of cleanup. Uh. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Ah, oh, we got the trophy. Magpie. Find and inspect 95% of all clues. So literally all we've got to do now is just complete the game. He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here. I'll get this great. Hurry, hurry. Hurry. The water is rising. They're first. Oh my god, Phelps is gonna die. I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. Oh my god. Did Phelps just die? Phelps died? Oh, they found his body and everything. Wow, I did not expect this. What a way to go. Moth to a flame. Complete all cases on the arson desk. And there we go. Wow. Uh, I did not expect that ending. I never knew the ending. I had never really, like... I never finished the game back in the day. And I never really watched any playthroughs. And if I did, it would be like... It would just be like some funny moments from the game or something. But... Wow. Uh, absolutely incredible. Honestly. Absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, I... I, I I never know how I feel about games when they just, like, they kill the main character. I feel like it's, like, an easy way out. You know, like, I feel like there's a lot of... There's still a lot in the air, I feel like. You know, like, we're not seeing all the, the you know, the, the snakes in the grass and, and, you know, all the the dodgy people. Like, what's their punishment? Are they getting imprisoned? Are they just getting, like, fired from their jobs? Are they getting killed? I suppose maybe it's, like, just... The real world, you know, not every, uh, not everything has a happy ending, I suppose. So with that incredible story done, I honestly couldn't believe the way it ended with Phelps dying. That, that, to me, was kind of a shock. I never knew how the game ended, so I really thought it was going to be happy endings, but, you know, his wife kicking him out, and it was crazy. I, I honestly didn't, didn't expect it to go down that way, but Rockstar always make a good story. It was now time to go on to the street crimes. There's 40 of them in total spread over four desks, and they're relatively fun and simple. All right, so there we go. Right away, we got one. So off rip, um, I think there's 40. I'm not 100% sure. I think there's 40. 11K responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Here we go. So what, what we had go on. I will find you all and eat you. Yes, sir. Damn. Why did you place us have so much preparation H? Oh, wait. Benny's giving me speed. What are you doing? Get the hell down from there, you lunatic. Okay, so this one I don't have a gun to pull out, which is fine. I'm just going to have to... Chase him. Apprehend him that way. You really need to lay off the pills. Now we're about to box this boy up. Miss me. Ooh. And that's one street crime. Now I already have the trophy for completing one street crime, so I'm not going to get a trophy for this. But you get a trophy for 20, and you get a trophy for doing them all. 
Alright guys, this is it. This is 40 of 40. Uh, this has taken an hour and a half. Two hours, maybe. Uh, it's been tons of fun. None of them have actually been repetitive. They've all had like a, a tiny, tiny little story to them. Uh, I've enjoyed them all a lot. And of course, next up is the collector, which I know is going to be horrendously boring. Alright, just take it easy. Put waving that cannon in my face and let's talk. I want to use this bar. There we go. I don't know what else I need to do, because there's a trophy for getting a kill with every weapon. I don't know what other weapon I'd need to use. I've done the pistol, the tommy gun, the bar, the flamethrower, maybe like a revolver, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, but there you go. That is all of the street crimes done. I really enjoyed this. It was an easy step towards the platinum and also towards the 100% because when I do the collectibles not only am I going to get all the collectible trophies I'm also going to get the 100% of the game trophy which is not the platinum it's another trophy for getting 100% of the game but there we go complete all street crime cases thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so with all of these street crimes done it was time to go on to the biggest and most boring part of the platinum the collectibles now for the trophies, you've got to do all the landmarks, you've got to drive 95 cars, and you've got to get all the gold film reels. Now that's for the trophies, you also have to get all of the newspapers, which isn't a trophy, but count towards the 100% trophy. However, with DLC Pack 5, there are two more collectible trophies to find all of the hidden records and all of the hidden novels. So there is quite a bit to do, you won't see much, because always it's just boring, it's going point A to point B, just picking things up. Alright guys, so this is the final landmark. This should be the landmark trophy. This should be the 100% trophy. I got all of the collectibles for the base game yesterday on last night. I got all of the collectibles for the DLC trophy pack collectibles um, last night as well. I finished off the newspapers, which aren't a trophy, but they are towards the 100%. And now we're finishing here with the landmarks. As always, this is the most boring part. It wasn't actually too bad. Yes, time consuming. But I've definitely had far, far, far worse trophy. Uh, there it is. I've, I had far worse um, experiences with collectibles. So discover all landmarks. And there we go. The City of Angels. Reach 100% game complete. Now we've got to jump through quite a few of the cases. We've got to jump through three of the DLC cases and a few other bits for cleanup. So with all of the collectibles done, it was time to go into the cleanup and there's cleanup for base game and there was cleanup for a couple of the DLC cases. All in all, I really can't say this platinum was a bad experience. It was absolutely fantastic. So now it's time for the cleanup and for the cleanup, we've got to do um, a few trophies from the base game and then a few trophies from three of the DLCs. Well, one trophy each for three of the DLC cases. So two of them can be done at the very beginning of the case, which is brilliant. And unfortunately, one of them is done at the very end of the case. So I'll do the whole case again. But for now, I'm going to start with the two that are the easiest. All right. So for this one, we have got to... This guy is going to take off. He's going to drive away. We have got to take him down before the uniformed officers stop him. I think about two minutes or so into the, the chase. So I've got to make sure I really... i got a beeline for him. Really, really beat his car up get to the uniformed officers. All right, all we got right. it already. Look at that. No, we're in a hurry. There it was. Catch and arrest Cliff Harris before he is stopped by uniformed backup. 20th Andrew Century Marker. So this is what I needed. Now, instead of going to the suit place and doing the, what you would class as the actual objective, I need to first just go straight to... I should have unlocked the location now. I need to go straight to the 20th Century Market. And there we go, guys. High flyer. Find the flyer at Juan Garcia Cruz's house and proceed straight to the 20th century market. So now it's time to go on to the last DLC cleanup trophy, which, like I said, I have to get all the way to the end of the um, case, unfortunately. All right, he died. Now quickly run, Cole, run, 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 run. Weapons on the ground now. Reload. Show me your face, Come on! Oh 
Oh, I got it! Oh, so it was just... Hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Kill the drivers of both MP vehicles in the gun battle. But it was... There was like four cars. I'm going to take it up. I think maybe it was just like... It just means just kill any two of any of the four vehicles. I sure as hell didn't kill the driver every time. That That is, that is for certain. Um... And they definitely pulled up. <laughs> uh, the 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 car that I done before the trophy happened, they both got out, and I killed the guy on the right when he was still alive. So I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. Uh, it was just annoying from reading it. Apparently, like people were just like, "It's a coin flip. You'll hit a few drivers, and whatever happens, happens." I'm glad we got it. Uh, still a few more to do, but that I believe, guys, is every DLC cleanup trophy and every DLC trophy full stop done. Lovely. Alright, so the next one we're going for is uh, one called The Hunch, which I have to use four intuition points while having an interview. I'm Officer Har and then this should be the final one, just remove an answer. And there we go, The Hunch, and that is use four intuition points in a single interview session and correctly, correctly branching each question. Here we go, so he pulls out the shotgun, but then I have to drop it, pull out the pistol. Oh, that was the one that I needed. Roscoe and friends. Kill his one bad guy with every gun. Lovely. Find some cover. Alright boys, so I was able to load the save, uh, let it's me load the save, Adrian. and I just spent the last like 20 minutes crashing cars because I've got a head off in a, in, in a minute, in like 5 minutes. So I just wanted to see if it was drama. enough, I probably destroyed like another 20 cars. No, it just... I feel like it should pop now. No, I didn't get it clearly. How far away was I though? Excuse me? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Rack up forty-seven thousand in penalties. So, we're one trophy off. The last thing left to do, guys, is to drive one hundred ninety-four miles. Well, actually, it's one hundred ninety-four point seven miles. So we're just gonna cruise. That's all. That's the plan. Just gonna cruise around. All right, boys. It's time to just cruise. We're not far off. Where are we at on mileage? One hundred ninety point six five. We need to do one hundred ninety-four. Point seven, I believe. Uh, this is pretty much the longest straight road in the game. And we're just going to be cruising. Uh, I just want to say I've absolutely loved doing this Platinum. I've loved doing this game. I highly recommend it. I feel like this is a absolutely underrated masterpiece. Is how I would describe this, this Platinum experience. Like the whole game, the DLC, the cleanup, the collectibles. Just not a Platinum you see spoken about enough, in my opinion. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think the story is brilliant. There's some sadness to it. There's some real interesting bits with the corruption. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, we're just literally just going to drive and get this platinum. A lovely, easy one to end on. Lately, we've not been ending on very easy ones, I don't think, from some of the some of the trophies that we've been getting. Um, some of the platinum, sorry, that we've been getting. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> but this is a really easy one to end on. Just, just drive, man. Like, this is a, a great way to end a great platinum. And there we go, guys. Miles on the clock. Drive more than 194.7 miles. And there we go. And there is that platinum. Collect all trophies to unlock. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Platinum trophy LA Noir. So there we go, guys. Platinum 121. Uh, this took me 45 hours to do, but three of those hours from when I played before, so 40 two hours from beginning to end of the platinum all the dlc's done from new collections dlc pack all the dlc cases that were possible and then finally this but as you can see we started in 2019 as well as 2020 and then started again in 2023 getting the platinum absolutely loved it um, 
really don't have many bad things to say about it, man. R I really don't. The every case was fun. The DLC cases were super fun. All the different deaths, homicide, vice, traffic, arson, all really, really fun. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. At the time of recording this, I'm like five subscribers away from 19,000, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, and yeah, I hope this was a fun one to watch. I, like I said, I don't know how this is going to be laid out because it is a bit different with like the cases and a lot of it is just kind of looking at people observing, you know, I'm checking the guide to make sure I'm doing everything right, you know, collectible stuff like that. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I really appreciate the support. It's been absolutely insane lately. So thank you all for that. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.